So I've got another Pelican to add to my collection. And this one, I remember it came out a few years ago. I believe it was around 2017 or 2018. And that would be the Pelican Bright Red 101N. It comes in this little, or actually this is a big box. It comes in a big box, pretty plain on the outside. Yeah, it's Pelican, made in Germany. Now, the cool thing about this pen is the price. <laughs> Because when it first came out, it was running like around seven, eight hundred dollars. It's a limited edition. I guess Pelican said, you know what? Maybe they weren't moving them up fast enough. And they're like, let's put them on sale. So I got this for under 300. Comes in a special box, as you can see here. Actually, it's like a drawer. <laughs> it's a drawer. Uh, yeah, so inside the drawer, I'm just gonna go ahead and take this apart. So inside you've got your fashionable pleather, pleather envelope and it comes with its own ink, which is pretty awesome. Also have our brochure. Uh, this one doesn't say moments of joy on it, but it's just your, it's your warranty. But it doesn't have to say moments of joy. And the reason for that is because I'm going to create my own joy with this pen. Full size ink, by the way, check it out. So I don't believe I even have this ink. It's the Pelican 4001 ink. Looks like it's blue. So we will be inking the pen up with this. And let's see here. Let's check out this pen. It's gonna be a little on the small side. So it places up, doesn't have that little elastic like we've been seeing. Yeah, it's like a little, little pocket pen size. But I don't know, I think I'm having a red pen moment. <laughs> so I, I got the M600, speaking of, let me grab that. So I do have the M600 that I just got to compare with the 101N. And so size wise, there is a big difference. This is more of the size of, gosh, like an M400. It might be even a little smaller than that. So that's why it's gonna make a great, you know, purse pen or pocket pen or whatever. Uh, it's really cute though. I mean, come on y'all, look at that. It's like a little baby. It's a little baby. Oh, Like all the other pelicans, it does have its little uh, label thing that comes off of it and tells you what it is. The GS101N, sorry, I was saying 101N. GS101N, I don't know what the GS stands for, but I'm sure it's special. It's generally special. So here it is, just as, as adorable as it could be. And it does have a gold nib and it looks like that classic Pelican gold nib. And I think that's what this is supposed to be. The pen is supposed to be like a throwback to the older Pelican pens. It's just a modern version of it. Got an ink window here so you can see exactly what is going on in there, how much ink you have and all that stuff, which is always a good thing to know. Take all that guesswork out. The size nib I've got, I got a broad. And the reason why I got a broad is because eventually, what I'll probably end up doing with this pen, because it's special and it's gonna totally void out my warranty and I'm totally cool with that, is I'll probably get a special nib grind on it by my friend Kirk Spear. Uh, he runs, he's over at, in Colorado, runs a place called Pen Realm. If you've never heard of it, it's a great place. I met him a, a couple times. He's a really nice guy. And I tell you, man, he does some good nib work. He's a great nib meister. Um, so that's probably, I'm gonna have him look at this eventually. It is a piston filler. So you can see the little piston go down as you turn the knob. It's not gonna hold a whole lot of ink, but you know what, for a pocket pen, it's gonna be cool. Does it post? Well, I should hope so because man, it'd be a tiny pen if it didn't. So posted, it actually comes out to a nice full size pen. So some of these, if you have larger hands, this might be a little on the small side for you. If this is something you're interested in keeping in like your briefcase or your, you know, a bag that you carry around, probably be a good thing to have that you can grab. Let's see here, the clip, springy. Finial has, it's not the gold disc that we're used to, like if you see here on the sulfurin, it is plastic, or I'm sorry, fancy resin. So you do have the two little pelicans here. Gold trim to match that beautiful gold nib. 
I do like the gold trim on it. I think it looks really nice. I love the red and the gold together. And I think these make a nice little pair. You know, they're very cute. And also on the, uh, right here on the cap, we've got Pelican on the front here and then Germany. So yes, this pen is made in Germany. I haven't been there before myself, but I hope someday that I can um, bless the country with my presence. Nice pen, huh? What do you think? Totally worth it on sale, right? Honestly, I don't know if it is, if it was an $8, you know, being an $800 pen. I don't know personally if this is, I mean, I guess it's all in the nib to see how that is gonna write, but super cute. Great steel. There's even a blue and gray one if you can find it. I've seen it go on sale at a lot of places. So if red is not your color, there is a blue and gray version of this that's actually really nice. And the uh, cap and the piston knob are black. And it's, it's a good looking pen as well. So I went with red because I just felt like my M600 Sovereign Red Tortoise really needed a friend. And I think they're gonna be best friends. All right, well, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to ink this cute little pen up with, with its accompanying ink, blue ink, and let's see how it writes. Thank you so much for joining me for this look at the Pelican Special Edition GS101N. Well, I like it. It's definitely a great writer and it has not disappointed me, to be honest with you. It's got that great writing Pelican nib that I love so much and it's totally gonna be a great addition to my collection. 
definitely going to save the box because it's very interesting looking at it. it. I mean, it's like got this like old pirate looking thing going on there, doesn't it? Arr. <laughs> oh, and, uh, Gunter Wagner, that name on there. I just, I, I just felt like saying that because they pronounce things differently than we do. So don't judge me. So if you can find one, especially for the price that it's going for right now, and I'm sure there are different places that you could probably find that might be running like a, not only, you know, maybe a 10% off coupon somewhere, Pen Chalet. You know, go check it out. Highly encourage you to, to go for it. They're not gonna be around forever. So, you know, whatever. Oh, well, that's all I've got. Thanks for watching. And that's how the ink flows.